just a quickie video. Um, I've been working on some of the preliminary scenery for this, uh, the upper level here in the peninsula. Uh, I'm using the old cardboard webbing with uh, cheesecloth over the top. And then this part here is plastered along with the river. And I'll walk around the other side. I've kind of got this stuff about the way I want it. It's been that way about a month. Uh, the river will kind of end here and I'm going to have uh, some fascia come up so that it's more rounded and give me a little bit more room here for the for the city and the other side of the tracks. This will all be in a tunnel in here so I need to leave an opening. Uh, I can always get it from the back but I got to be able to see what I'm going at uh, just in case something comes off and I'm kind of thinking about how I might just put some cardboard around the other side or some of that foam board I have. Uh, this is the, uh, the tunnel entrance that will go here. And as you can see, I'm starting to work on this area. This is the process I, I go through is, uh, first of all, I got cut a bunch of these. Um, in the house, I bought myself a... Uh, I guess that's an 18 inch uh, paper cutter and because uh, my hand would be worn out cutting those by hand with big shears so but anyway so I just kind of form them up a little bit I'm using uh, furniture tacks to tack down the uh, verticals here's one of them here so up in here and then down on the other end those are tacked in then the cross bracing is going to be glued and I use Eileen's uh, tacky glue because uh, I really hate using hot glue because all the hairs you get around on the layout. So, but anyway, so this stuff here is now in a process of drying and I'm using the clothespins as you can notice to hold them together while it's dried. So it'll probably take 30-40 minutes, um, move away some of the buildings. Um, and then this section right in here, which is now drying because I glued it down, uh, there's a building, this building here is going to be going there. So I needed a little bit more depth, so I'm having to adjust the way the, uh, I guess the rock wall will be uh, there uh, so that it, the building can fit in. So anyway. That's kind of what I'm doing. There's some of the stuff I've just kind of moved it around and uh, been kind of uh, busy the last few days. Had a lot of doctor's appointments, both myself, my wife, and then a friend of mine was in the hospital for about five days. So been uh, kind of uh, deflected from uh, working on the layout. But anyway, uh, today's Sunday. Um, so today, uh, since I don't watch the NFL anymore, I went ahead and uh, started working on this. And there's one of my other helpers right there. He's, he's sitting over there kind of supervising. So I still have uh, one gentleman who won first place in the contest for HO, still hasn't contacted me. I've got second place HO, first and second place end scale ready to be mailed tomorrow. So uh, I need the gentleman uh, to uh, give me his information so I can mail him the uh, first place prizes. But anyway, thank you very much. We'll see you next time. Bye.